Hey, hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back and welcome to my channel, Just as Jupiter for another inspirational daily quickie. So we're gonna be, I'm gonna be <laughs> channeling a message for you out of the Nature's Whispers Oracle cards. So we're gonna see what spirit has in store for you today. We have our three groups like normal. We got group number one with the Rhodonite sphere. That'll be group one. Group two will be the Kiwi Jasper sphere. That'll be group number two. And then group number three is going to be the Dragon's Blood Jasper. That'll be group three. Group three, sorry. So please meditate over your crystal, see which one calls to you, and I will go ahead and see you at your daily and personal cookie. Bye. Hey, hey, welcome group number one. If you chose the Rhodonite Sphere, welcome, you made it to your read. So let's go ahead and see what Rhodonite Sphere has for you, my dearest group number one. All right, Spirit, please tap me into the collective of group one, and then please just get one Nature's Whispers Oracle card for the highest and greatest good for group number one and for, for all. Group one, please can get, thank you, Spirit. Ooh, oh my, oh my, oh my. All right, group number one, you got card number 10, which is open your heart. Okay. So there is a lot going on in this card, collective of group one, card number 10, which breaks down to a one. Woo, 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 woo. Okay, there is, um, you're being called right now to open your heart to a great passion. It seems like a passion that's just now being being ready to be birthed, right? There's in the, in the left-hand corner, there's a, it looks like these two little angels or there's some you know, little peoples in this egg here. It's super cute. But it seems group number one, you've waited a long time for this passion to come in. It's almost felt like it was, it was, it was never going to happen. That's how long it felt like it was taking to come in. But you are ready now to be embraced by this masculine energy and just oh, like you, your heart, your body is crying out. So I don't know if it's been a while since you maybe got a piece group number one, but you're like, you're like, it might be wearing on you right about now and you really want to get to live some passion filled like it feels like your physical body has needs and it's like open your heart to these because spirit is trying to send you in a soulmate that's going to help you know quench the thirst in which you have group number one um but it's like on the horizon so i'm also called to that this this moon here this full moon in the back and in, it's the color is, a, is blue right so there is a we just passed you you're watching real time you know the super full blue moon um on august 30th i believe so with this blue full moon, it could have bring, it could bring in as I as I say this, I'm called to the stork here that's in the top left corner. Bring in this new passion, this this drive, this this person, your soulmate's coming through to really just be everything that you need and more. So open your heart and be ready to receive them. Group number one, yikes! I mean, it is like you're ready for some physical. My right ear is ringing. You're ready for some physical. Um, embraces like so okay so let's see here my right ear is on ringing okay this woman here look how like she's just like passion filled right like she's just like ecstasy right her face is ecstasy see how there's this egg here with these people in it like this is getting ready to be hatched so if you see in the neck of this swan, this it's almost it's like it's like um, ethereal it's not quite um, manifested in the 3d it's not you know real vivid like she is it's it's faint but you see a man's head face right there on her neck and then you see his hand coming up here like on her arm like whoo this gives me romance vibes like you know harlequin romance vibes like all day group number one you're coming into some passionate times and i'm almost getting i'm blushing like omg like, i can't wait i'm so excited for you group one because it feels like you've been very patient waiting for this person to come in and it's going to pay off. Like you have a new soulmate that's coming in to be birthed. Like, mm, ooh, fire, fire, group one. That's what I have for you. And if you're not wanting to expand your family at this time, I would use protection. All right. So if you're not looking to expand your family, because there's definitely some fertile imagery here. It could definitely, you know, could could one could easily conceive that as conception. So just be double protective this month, uh, collective group one, if you're not wanting any children, because 
it's depicted here. All right, take it where it resonates. All right. <laughs> so I hope this helped you. Give me a th thumbs up if you feel so called. You can share and subscribe. And if you're interested in further guidance, personal guidance, my information is in the description box below. Till next time, group one. Steamy, steamy up in here. Talk to you later. Bye. Hey, hey, group number two. If you chose the Kiwi Jasper crystal, welcome. You made it to your read. So we're going to see what Kiwi Jasper has in store for you in the Nature's Whispers deck. <laughs> All right. So Spirit, please tap me into the collective up. Group number two. And may I please get one Nature's Whispers oracle card for, the, for their highest and greatest good of the collective group two. Can I just get one, one Nature's Whispers, please? Just one. All right. All right. Group number two. Card net page, card number 16, inner truths. All right, it's gonna get deep. Trigger warning right now, right here, right now, I'm flagging it, trigger warning. The collective of group two, you're being faced right now with a lot of different aspects of yourself. You're definitely having to look at your shadow to get to your, your paradise beyond. Um, it definitely feels dark night of the soul vibes. You're very isolated. You feel like you don't have really anyone that you can talk to, turn to. Very hermit vibes, very Virgo energy. And um, we're in September and it's a Virgo season, so that could be indicative or synchronistic for someone. You just came, if it feels like, and I've just noticed this now, that this person has just washed ashore of their ego. It seems like this person just stepped on from the mercurial waters because it, it, it felt like you were pushed into this season in your life in which you're having to go back and face and deal with and let go of a lot of things. We're in, we're in the 9-9 nine, nine, um, portal month, you know? You're at, you, you got pushed into that direction, and whether you like it or not, I don't think it was something that you really wanted to do to begin with, because this little girl is holding this candle, but she's looking back at the boat, like, damn, like, what did I just get my ass into, you know what I mean? But it definitely seems like your boat was pushed onto this, this, um, this island of inner truth that you're having to go back and face your shadow. It feels like you're just getting started in this journey. I'm not trying to, like, you know... I'm not trying to bullshit you group number two it feels like you're just getting started and you're like wanting to go back but once you take off the rose tinted glasses you can't put them back on they don't go back on once you once you wake up to something an inner knowing an inner truth you can't go back there is no getting back in your boat and going back to the matrix you took the the, was it the red pill or the blue pill you took the blue pill you can't go back and take the red pill i mean i believe that's the way it played out in the movie vice versa switch and swap where it actually is you can't go back group number two there is no going back you took the rose into glass it off you decided to wake up and now you're here now you're having to face the darkness of your shadows and all things like that you have to make friends with your shadow you have to embrace your shadow and love your love the, the abandoned broken parts of yourself you're having to go back and do still retrieval this is a really heavy 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 card and I'm not trying to uh, make light of the situation at all um, it is a journey and you just stepped onto your soul's journey and you will make it to the other side. So hold that candle, you know, close to your breast and just keep walking and you will make it to all your various, there are no wrong paths. So once you do your shadow work, all of these paths past the shadow work period, they're all beautiful, but you have to do the shadow work before you can get to any of these more beautiful paths. So I'm called to one, two, three, four, five, there's six different paths here that this person can take. Of the six paths, the, the, the first two, the lower two near them are the closest to them, but they're the most scariest. They're, those are, that's what I was depicted as the, the shadow aspect of things. But once you get past those and you get to, there's a fork in the road essentially, right? You get past the first bullshit cave, get past the second bullshit cave. And once you get there, there's a fork in the road and you can choose all these other beautiful paths. There's a celestial path, there's like the springtime, there's a you know, fall, it looks like Hawaii is in the background there. Uh, Sweet Island Paradise. So look at this card again, group number two. Inner truths, you're having to go back and face inner truths and 16 breaks down to a seven. And if you're watching this real time, we're in the universal year of seven. So this could, and that's also a very divine number. So do you see how there's, she rolls in, there's this water right here. I never, this is the first, I've seen this card a dozen times and I was never called to this bottom portion here below her. So essentially this is like a little leaf boat. This little girl here holding this candle just rode in, got pushed ashore, right? Boom, Ego Island. 
and then they have to they, they, you were there like you were in these dark waters you had to come out you had to get on dry land now if you look so the, the two closest paths to her there's the one here that looks fucking scary right shadow work city and this little girl's looking back at her boat like fuck man what did i just get myself into and then the next path is boom here another pitfall you know shadow work city but once you get past that then it forks off to all these beautiful other realms right there's four other realms i'm called here you know in this card so just keep doing your shadow work group number three and as you can you de determine how long you stay in that energy by the more work you do the faster you do the work the faster you get out the more you are in denial over it the more you try to repress it and escape from it the more you stay stuck in it it's solely dependent upon your free will on on how fast and you, how you get out of this so that's on you group number two you know but i've been there you know ego island sucks ass but you will try to traverse this just like your soul's done a thousand other fucking times um, I hope this helped you, Group Timber 2. If it did, throw me a thumbs up. If it feels so called, you can um, share and subscribe. And if you know somebody that's in this energy, you know, maybe share it to them so that they don't feel quite alone, you know? Um, whatever. Whatever. Whatever you want to use it. However you want to use it. And then if you're interested in personal guidance, my information's in the description box below. <laughs> my information's in the description box below. Until next time, Group 2, just keep it trucking. Talk to you later. Bye. Hey, hey, group number three, if you chose the Dragon's Blood Jasper Crystal Sphere, welcome, you made it to your read, Dragon's Blood. All right. All right, group three, let's see what Nature's Whispers and your Dragon's Blood Crystal has in store for you. All right, so at least tap me in the collective of group three, and may I please get one Nature's Whispers Oracle, one Nature's Whisper Oracle for the collective of group three. Please and thank you. All right. <laughs> beautiful card spirit pop the cards quick today card number five which always is, is the number of change right clear out the old there's a lot going on here so i'm gonna let you go ahead and see it try to take that in maybe even screenshot it if you can clear out the old okay <laughs> So first, straight away, I'm called to the starseed energy with the indigos and the blues and the celestial colors with this shooting star with the rainbow in the back. That's what I'm immediately called to, first and foremost. Collective of group number five. So this can, this 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 really goes two different ways. It just definitely speaks of divine partnership, like these two people coming together from the same soul family, the same the same tribe. Wishes are being fulfilled for these two people who are coming together. Um, it's really freaking cute because it feels like my heart, as I'm looking into this heart, this this key necklace that this man is wearing, my heart chakra just uh, like just illuminates. So there's definitely an expansion going on in the heart chakra. And if you felt called to group number one, this could definitely feel like a group number. This feels like group number one energy but just like on a higher conscious level. I got a higher vibration. You guys are old souls. <laughs> Definitely old souls. Where group number one was really passion based. This one is, this is soulmate. This is end game material. You have the owl here on this purple rose. Purple signifies to me royalty. Owls are very wise animals. Um, again, very, very high star seed and lineage. And then as I say that, I'm drawn to that. This is Stonehenge here in this clock. There's like a, um, it's a, um, shit, a pocket watch, right? The pocket watch, the old school pocket watches. And then the, the face of this pocket watch is Stonehenge and the water is coming down. So you definitely, you guys have alien um, origin for sure. There's no mistaking it. And it feels like the feminine has always been aware of her starseed origin or alien origin. And it's been illuminated now to this masculine. This masculine here is about finding out who the fuck he is. He's ready to take the blindfold off. He holds the key to his heart. She's like sending such loving, radiant energy. So if you're not with someone right now, group number three, you're like on an energetic 5D level. Like you're helping awaken your masculine getting ready for you. This is really deep waters. I mean, it's beautiful. It is such a loving, beautiful energy. And it feels like collective of group three, you're, it's everything that you ever wished for is getting ready to come through, come true. It's ready to come through for you. It's so fucking beautiful. It's picture perfect. It's picture perfect. And because you did the work on yourself, because you were patient, because you, you, you held out, you knew 
you knew something you had a deeper knowing in this relationship you held fast to it and your wishes are coming true your wishes are being fulfilled this is a divine union coming together I sure as fuck hope I'm in the collective of group number five, or group number five, <laughs> group number three, it's card number five, damn it, that was so silly. Group number three, super jelly. This is everything that you've ever wished for is getting ready to fucking come to pass. <sighs> My heart just swells with joy for you, group three. Mm. Mazel tov. And like I see now that the hands on this this clock here, so you'll see there's Stonehenge right here. And this and this is a pocket watch, right? And there's two people here. Like there's so much imagery going on. Like the masculine of these two of the of this divine pair, this masculine is waking up. And it's gonna be so beautiful. I love it. I'm so happy for you guys. So if you haven't come together, it is. And you are healing your, your divine counterpart, even if you haven't even met yet. You're on an energetic level. It's beautiful. It's deep. I love it. Oh, I hope this helps you, Group 3. If it did, show me thumbs up. If you feel so called, you can share and subscribe. And if you're interested in personal guidance, you can find my information in the description box below. Until next time, Group 3, I'll talk to you later.